investigators confirm that they have now recovered five bodies from a burned home in Logansport. We first brought you this story on News 18 this morning. Crews responded to the home on Potawatomi Road. Investigators have just wrapped up a press conference just moments ago. News 18's Demi Johnson joining us now live from that location. Demi, what have you learned? Yeah, Jeff, as you mentioned, five bodies have been recovered. We just learned about the fifth one minutes ago. Investigators say of the other four, they found one adult female, one adult male, and two children. The ages of those children are still unknown at this time. Indiana State Police Sergeant Tony Slocum says when they got on scene, they found two adults who were able to escape. They're both in the hospital and are expected to survive. Cass County Sheriff Randy Pryor says police talked to other family members who showed up an hour later. They told police there could possibly be up to six people in the house, but investigators can't confirm or deny that. He says that's why crews are still on scene to recover more bodies and more evidence. Now, Pryor also added there is a death investigation going on right now in Carroll County, and he believes that someone in that case could possibly be related to the people who died in the burned home in Logansport. We'll continue to follow both of those cases, and we'll let you know if we find out there is any connection. Reporting live in Cass County, Demi Johnson, News 18. Demi, thank you. A tragedy of that magnitude can have a devastating impact on a community. We continue our team coverage live from Logansport this afternoon with News 18's Kayla Sullivan. She's near the scene to tell us how people are reacting to this morning's news. Kayla? Yes, Jeff, with the little daylight we have left, I want to show you what the scene looks like right now behind me. Investigators still searching for at least one more body, and they're also looking for evidence to see if this fire was intentionally set. Now, we don't know that information at this time, but I do want to take you down the road here. You can see there's an emergency disaster services vehicle. This has been out here since this morning. And then a couple houses down is where Terry McKinney's mother lives. She says this community has gone on through a lot recently between this last night's pedestrian deaths and that little boy who accidentally shot himself not too long ago in Logansport. People here are having a really tough time right now. McKinney says her mom was good friends with one of the survivors in the fire, the mother in the home. She said she's currently recovering and sedated at Logansport Memorial Hospital. We talked with the hospital's CEO Perry Gay to confirm that he couldn't any patient information, but he did agree that this tragedy and several others recently have been difficult on his staff. Both McKinney and Gay can only think of those closest to this tragedy today. Just peace for the family. I know that's not going to be easy for him. My heart, our hearts go out to the families. We, we just can't imagine these tragedies having happened once, and when they happen repeatedly, it just takes a toll on everybody. McKinney says now is not the time for the community to speculate what happened in this fire. However, she does say it's time for the community to come together. Now, coming up tonight at 6, I'll let you know how this tragedy has changed McKinney's game plan when it comes to a potential fire in her home to protect her family. And I'll also tell you about what the community did here recently to try to avoid something like this from happening in the future. And unfortunately, it's still dead. We'll have that coming up tonight on News 18 at 6. But for now, we're Reporting live in Logansport, Kayla Sullivan, News 18.